guys. As a girl, no matter how you look, you're always told you're not pretty enough. Is that true? Doesn't matter. Society's relentless. So as a young girl, I took it upon myself to really dig deep into the internet, find out ways that I can be more beautiful. Some girly crafts, if you will. To really make me pop. So everything that I'm about to do is from this account. It's full of these great, like really good, totally legitimate, extremely realistic hacks that, you know, you, anyone, any of your girly friends can do. I <laughs> labored through nearly all of these and I think I might just do like a full kind of makeover. You know, a world where girls accept how they are and think of themselves as beautiful no matter what. What would that look like? Let's not find out, you know? I do have to give them a bit of credit though because you know those times when you're like you're out you didn't wear makeup but all of a sudden you're like I need to make up you're stressed out they do offer a solution for that kind of scenario if you also have flour in your bag and sesame oil and cocoa and aloe vera gel because that's what it takes that's what you need let the transformation begin so we're starting with kind of a foundation you also have to have a bowl in your bag in that scenario by the way because you need something unless you want to like mix straight into your bag that's on you. Okay, I really want to get this right, so let's just have a look at what they did again. Cocoa, flour, alloy. They don't really specify measurements either. Approximately a spoon. Um, sure. Ugh. I think you could just kind of like put in as much as you feel like. Since I have a similar size spoon though, we are going to try and do this right. Because I want to be beautiful. It's like a heaped spoon. Aloe gel. I have it in the tube, I hope that's the same. I think we're just gonna eyeball it with the sesame oil. That looks about right. And then they just mix it up, they just mix it on up. Doesn't quite look the same. <laughs> it doesn't smell good either. Let's try and <laughs> lighten it a bit, maybe. Theirs looks like melted caramel ice cream and mine looks like actual Poo. Why don't mine look like yours? Maybe I like freestyle a bit and add some water. What the fuck? I mean, I do go like very dark in the summer if I've had sun, but like, I just don't know if this is okay. It's looking pretty good, guys. It's honestly a pretty similar color to the stuff I actually use when I'm fake tanned. Oh. So I'm not that appalled by it. Blend it in. You guys, I actually was scared this wouldn't work, but it's actually really good. <laughs> Amazing. Never seen a brush look like that before. It's gotta be a good thing though. Next in my routine, I like to do my contour. I don't really understand this part. Like she's like, I'm gonna take this, no this, no this. And this girl's like, you can have all three as long as I do it. Maybe she has like a power issue or something. Perfect. Three, two, one. Okay, we actually nailed that one. And then we blend it. So good. And obviously now we do the other side. <laughs> Perfect, all right, next one. Just a personal choice. I really like to have my cheeks pronounced. You know when your blush just disappears? You have it one minute, the next it's gone. It's chill. They've got you. No more blush. Coconut oil and my favorite, easy. Easy coconut oil. My favorite lipstick. It just so happens that my favorite lipstick is Sin. It's a really beautiful dark, like a rouge. It's not exactly the color she uses, but they didn't specify color. They just said your favorite color, coconut oil on her cheeks. I don't have hairs in my way, but we've got a solution for that too in a second. Three little, three little zhuzhs. One, two, three. One, two, three. Your lipstick will also come out looking exactly like it did when it went in. And then she just zhuzhes it out a bit too. It looks a little bit different to hers. I don't know why, like I think I did exactly the same thing as her. Okay, so next I really want to just quickly throw on some eyeliner. She just puts it on her nose and then draws on the inside, goes on the line. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. It's not sticking. Maybe it's because I have a little Grinch nose. <laughs> there was a comment the other day on one of my videos that was like, is it just me or does Tessa's nose remind you of like the people from the Grinch? It's not just you. It reminds me of the people from the Grinch too. I'm just gonna hold it there. I'm not an idiot, we're gonna take it seriously. Um, please note that I'm not doing this in a mirror. I'm just going off the camera. Mm, stop there, because I want to do something on the outside too. See, that's what I'm talking That's more like it. I was a bit concerned there for a second. So now I'm just gonna do the wing. She kind of does a little bit at the end. Oh, I can, I can do that. I can do that. 
Oh my god. Yes, wing. So next we're doing lips. I wanted to start this off by, you know, naturally enhancing what I've already got. And that's by tying an elastic band around my upper lip. <laughs> it, it just looks so uncomfortable. I actually got like a rubber band because I thought it might stay better on my lip. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work. Ow, what the fuck? Ow, it actually hurts. And why just the top one? Like, why not the bottom one as well? Ah, oh, that. Not even for the video. Ow! Hi, guys. So that actually bruised my lip, <laughs> so I'd recommend not doing it even as a joke because it hurts and you'll have a purple lip for like two days. Dude, f these people. It's so bad. That's how I feel too. One of my personal favorites is coming up next, but this one is just like a little prerequisite because I need to put some color on my lip. So it's just like a little diamond, I guess. My foundation isn't making it stick very well. Okay, so I should do a little heart first. I'm just gonna hold it like this. Following along the lines. Oh yeah, now we're cooking with gas. You ready? Here it is. What I was looking forward to the most. So you got the red. Are you serious? Look how natural that looks. I thought you saw my smile was too small. I want a smile that spreads across my fucking face. Like, I want it to be huge. Are you seeing this? Why is no, no one's doing this? Why is no one doing this? Why? It's like these guys have got it all figured out. It's their world and we just have the privilege of living in it. So when you're just filling in your eyebrows with eyeshadow, oh, that's <laughs> too much. And then you just get a makeup wipe and they're perfect. They're perfect. So, so she was just going crazy. Cause I mean, we have to have something to like clean up. Nonchalant, you know, she wasn't even trying very hard. And then you just clean them up. It's a bit crusty from my foundation. And clean up. Sharp angle in there. I actually don't know what to say about that. Like, it could work, I guess. It's perfect. It really just works a charm. Yeah, okay. Next one. We've actually come to our final step of the makeup part. Setting powder. For all you silly boys that don't know what that is, you basically just put it on your face. It sets all the makeup. It's see-through too. Like, a little known fact. You can actually use flour. Like, the cooking ingredient. It's basically the same as setting powder. <laughs> See why it wouldn't be. It feels right, you know? <laughs> Wait, I just want to show you quickly. I chose not to do this one because I'm nearly out of toothpaste and I forgot to buy more. But you know when you have piss yellow teeth, you've accidentally let them go to shit, you need a quick fix. Just blend a banana peel with an entire liter of toothpaste. Blend it on up, brush your teeth with it. <laughs> Glowing. That's better, says her friend, unlike her reaction before. Um, ugh, do something about your piss teeth, you ugly bitch. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure she was nicer than that in her head. But she seemed a lot happier with her friend when she had white teeth because, like, you don't want, like, an ugly friend. That's gross. Like I said, I want this to be a full transformation. I do think sometimes my hair can be a bit flat. I'm flat. A clip in the middle, some hairspray, and a hairdryer. Got it. Basically what I'm going for is like volume on the top, but no frizziness on the side. And to do that, put hair gel on my brush, swipe it back. That clip here. <coughs> I think it made it flatter. I guess we'll try the hair gel now. That looks like it should be enough. I'm just gonna look so ugly in this video. I mean, it definitely makes it like less poofy. You kind of have to give it that. I think that's all I can handle for today. I'm only looking at myself in the viewfinder. I don't know if it gets worse than this either. There's also an extremely loud storm happening outside, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. That's so loud. Just let me film my outro, that's all I ask. Five minute crafts, girl, the official. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm obviously taking the piss a little bit because they're bonkers, but it's funny. I mean, to an extent, I tried, I followed all of their steps, right? Like I did what they told me to do and this is how I look, but whatever, I feel beautiful. I'm so happy you guys did this with me. Maybe we can do it again sometime, but probably not. I love you guys, subscribe if you want. I'll see you next week, bye.